Hello and welcome to another pen video from me, Penultimate Dave. So I have here another inks comparison video. So this is brown inks comparison number one. So I think let's go and swab up some of these inks. The first ink I have here is Akamon and it's SBRE Brown. So I think let's do an ink swatch. Now this is quite a nice sort of chestnutty brown ink. It's a little bit more of the orangey yellowy kind of brown and it's an ink that I do actually like using. So this is Akamon and it's SBRE Brown. And this can actually change the way it looks a lot depending on the type of nib or wet writing nib or pen that you put it in. The next ink is another Akamon ink and this is a Dutch Masters and it's Haus Udbrun. So we'll do an ink swatch here. Now this is more what I would call a sort of green brown, almost like a sepia brown. You can see it's a very different kind of brown ink. So this is Akamon. And it's a Dutch Masters and it is Haus Oud Bruin or Brown. But you can see there that is quite a greeny brown, very sort of almost like sort of very light brown, I would say. The next ink is a Robert Oster ink, and this is Gold Antiqua. So we'll do an ink swatch. And again, this is a kind of similar colour. Now, this is supposed to be more of a goldish brown, so I guess that's what maybe you could call the Hals Oud Brown as well, although that tends to be a little bit more um, lighter brown. This is more of a golden brown. This was the ink that I decided to get when I wanted a gold ink that didn't have shimmer particles in it. So this is Robert Oster. And it's gold antiqua. But that is actually quite a nice gold ink if you want something that resembles a little bit more of a gold colour ink without any particulates. The next ink is diamine ochre. And we'll do an ink swatch here. Now, I'll do another pass on this. Now, this is an ink that I think is actually quite similar to Akamon SBRE Brown. Now, Akamon is made by Diamine, and this is obviously a Diamine ink here, Diamine Ochre. Now, in past swabs I've done, these have looked almost identical, but it's going to be interesting to see today how these turn out. So this is Diamine Ochre. The next ink is Diatramentus Chocolate and this is an ink where I have actually lost a little bit of ink from the bottle. It's stained, uh, leaked out when traveling. So we will do an ink swatch here. And I think I need to get another bottle of this because actually maybe I did buy another bottle. I know it was on my to buy list, but I'm not sure that I did because you'll see here that that's the amount of ink that I have left in the bottle. So this is Diatramentus and 
and it's chocolate. Sometimes I call it chocolate brown because it is a brown ink, but it is officially just chocolate. The next ink is Diamine Ancient Copper. Now, I know what you're going to say is that that's more of a reddish ink, and yes, it is, but it also is more of a coppery colour, and a coppery colour can be more brown. So, let me swab this ink. So, yes, it is a little bit more of a red or a, a almost like a, an orangey brown, orangey reddy brown. So, this is Diamine and it's ancient copper. And the next ink is a diamine, and this is burnt sienna, which again is almost sort of like a similar style of ink to diamine ancient copper. It's a little bit more of a sort of, I guess like a terracotta style colour. So we'll do an ink swatch. And you can see here, that's quite dry, so I'm going to try and saturate that a little bit more. There you go. So, this is Diamine Burnt Sienna. The next ink is Diamine Chocolate Brown. And I think that's why I call Diatramentus Chocolate Brown a lot of the time. So we'll do an ink swatch. Now this is very much more of a chocolatey colour ink, I would say. Almost like a, a rich dark chocolate. At least that's how it goes on. So this is Diamine. It's chocolate brown. But you can already see the difference between the Diatramentus chocolate and the Diamine chocolate brown. And then the last ink in this video is Pelican Edelstein and it's Smoky Quartz. And we'll do an ink swatch. Now I do find this ink can be quite dry in some nibs. And it's an ink that I haven't used for quite a while and then I tried it in some very wet writing nibs and then I found that that ink was beautiful. So I now tend to use that a little bit more. So this is Pelican Edelstein and it's smoky. Quartz, which was a limited edition ink of the year with Pelican. And I actually thought I would like the ink so much I bought two bottles of it. And then I, as in the grand scheme of things, I stopped using it until recently. And now I've started using it a little bit more. So I think let's take a look at these inks one more time. So we have Akamon SBRE Brown, which is actually quite a light brown ink. Um, it does now have a little bit of shading going on there. And I'd like to say a little bit of sheen as well, although it's not a different colour of sheen. We then have Akamon Dutch Masters Haus Oud Brun. And that is a very light brown, but it has a huge amount of shading. So if you like an ink that shades a lot, and you don't mind a light brown ink, then that is a really good ink to, to try out. There's also Robert Oster Gold Antiqua. And again, this is a light brown ink, 
almost like a sepia colour, but it also does have a lot of good shading there. So it can be very light or actually quite dark. Now, you'll see here we have diamine ochre. Now, there isn't a huge amount between Akamon SBRE Brown and diamine ochre. I would say possibly diamine ochre is a little bit more darker, a little bit less maybe yellowy or orangey compared to Akamon SBRE Brown. Um, but it does have a little bit more of sheening going on there. But again, the sheen there around the saturated parts don't really sheen that much of a different colour. So it's not like a red sheen on a blue ink, for instance. And then we have the Atramentus chocolate, which I do like a lot. And it's a, it's almost like a powder chocolate, um, almost like a hot chocolate colour. So that is a colour that I do like a lot and I do use a lot, especially if you look at the writing sample here. And then Diamine Ancient Copper. Now, is this a brown? Is it a red? It's kind of in between. It's more of a browny red or a reddish brown. So that's why I decided to include that in here. And copper typically is more brown than red. So that's why I included that ink there. Now that ink doesn't shade a lot. Uh, likewise, the Atramentus chocolate doesn't shade a lot either. And then we have Diamine Burnt Sienna. And okay, this is more of a red ink than a brown ink. But again, Burnt Sienna tends to be a little bit more brownish. Now, you do get some shading going on here. Not a huge amount, but you can if, if you have a very wet nib. And then we have Diamine Chocolate Brown. And this reminds me of a dark chocolate and you do get some sheening going on here and you can see that there if I show you the comparison between maybe these inks here come back to the Atramentus chocolate brown you can get some goldish sort of sheen going on there so you do get a lot of sheen and a little bit of shading uh, but it's a really nice brown ink and then we have Pelican Edelstein Smoky Quartz. And this is an ink that I bought two bottles of and I didn't really use much because I found it very dry in some of the nibs that I was writing in. And I was writing in medium nibs that weren't overly wet nibs or gusher nibs. And I found it to be a very, very dry ink. And I had to keep sort of prepping the converter uh, just to to get a little bit more ink out because and make it write a little bit wetter every every few minutes. But I have since used this in some very wet nibs and it's a really nice ink. So I started to gravitate back towards using that ink a little bit more. But you can see there that it is really, again, another dark brown ink. There's really not a lot of shading going on, a little bit of shading perhaps, uh, but it's more muted shading. Uh, and there's no sheen to it either. Although, to be honest, I don't normally expect sheen from brown inks. You tend to have sheen more from inks like blue inks, uh, sometimes red inks as well. So blue inks tend to sheen more red or purple. Um, you get the red inks that sheen more green or gold. So uh, it just is really more of the sort of tendency of the colours and the, the dyes and the saturation in those inks. So brown inks, you don't normally get a lot of sh uh, sort of um, sort of sort of shimmer from or sort of really like you get a little bit gold here maybe, but in a lot of gold inks you tend not to get much sheen going on. So that's my brown inks comparison number one video if you have any brown inks that i haven't shown here that you like do let me know in the comments below and if you like any of these brown inks do let me know in the comments below if you're thinking of picking some of these up so that's my brown inks comparison number one video thanks for watching please like comment subscribe and i'll see you on the next pen video bye bye